Let's turn attention to some other stories and the economic community of West African states. ECOWAS has responded to calls for the revocation of its decision to take action against Niger, stating that such calls lack valid justification. Now, ECOWAS emphasizes that resorting to a coup d'etat is not an acceptable solution for addressing political and economic issues. This stance was highlighted during an extraordinary meeting of the ECOWAS Committee of Chiefs of Defence Staff on Thursday, August 17. The purpose of the two-day extraordinary meeting is to formulate a strategic intervention plan for Niger. This urgent meeting follows an activation order issued for a standby force following a coup d'etat in Niger. ECOWAS had previously issued a one-week ultimatum to the Niger junta demanding the release and reinstatement of President Mohamed Bazoum and the restoration of constitutional order within the country. Despite calls from various quarters for ECOWAS to reconsider its decision and explore alternatives, the Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security of ECOWAS, Abdel Fatal Musa, argues that these calls lack substantial grounds and underscores that activating the standby forces intervention becomes necessary if diplomatic negotiations do not yield effective results. This junta in Niger is playing cat and mouse with the community. They should know one thing. They have flouted their own constitution that forbids military incursions into politics. There are people in the region who are saying we should not intervene. You know, and that it is because of insecurity, because of bad governance, because of all that. So if because of these difficulties we have to stage coups, then the whole world will be plagued, you know, by unconstitutional changes of government. Let no one be in doubt that if everything else fails, the valiant forces of West Africa both the military and the civilian components are ready to answer to the call of duty. We just want to tell them that uh, and inform them about the resolve of the equalities of state and government to make sure that by all means available, constitutional order will be restored in the country. Ambassador Abdel Fatal Musa further emphasizes that ECOWAS possesses ample resources and determination to address the Niger junta's actions and pave the way for the country's return to democratic governance. People are telling us, where are we going to get the resources? So ECOWAS is being teleguided by the West, it is being teleguided by France, it is being teleguided by anybody. But what they forget is that ECOWAS is a rules-based organization. We have our protocols, we have our norms, and we are ready to protect them. That's why the heads of state are saying, if uh, push comes to shove, we are going into Niger with our own contingent, contingent owned equipment. We are going with our own resources, and to make sure that we, so, we restore constitutional order. If other democracy-loving partners want to support us, they are welcome. But we are not going begging, cap in hand, you know, before we do what is right for the region. Meanwhile, Ghana's Minister for Defense, Dominic Nituwo, has urged the Chiefs of Defense staff from various member states to remain loyal to their respective heads of state. This loyalty, he has said, is vital to prevent the occurrence of coups and the challenges they bring. I urge you to continue to be loyal to your heads of states. I urge you to continue to be loyal to ECOWAS directives and to give effect that the days that coup d'etat enjoy the support of our people are over. Yes, in democracy, people will agree to disagree. But the vast majority of our people in West Africa are with you. The vast majority of our people in West Africa do not want to be 
under the difficulties that we are facing today. Now, the National Commission for Civic Education, NCCE, says Ghana's hosting of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat poses a serious challenge to the country's security following the recent uprising in West Africa. Now, the NCCE bemoans that the opening of Ghana's borders for free trade and the movement of goods and services is likely to create an opportunity for violent extremist groups to infiltrate the country. During an interaction with officials of the Public Engagement Department of Parliament, now the Deputy Chairperson of the NCCE, Samuel Asaria Kouamwa stressed the need for a collaborative effort to protect Ghana's democracy in ensuring the success of the AFTA. Within the last three years, West Africa has been hit by military uprisings. Soldiers have overthrown the president of Mali, Guinea and Burkina Faso. The latest of this disturbing trend is the military takeover in Niger. The situation has generated concerns to the economic community of West African state ECOWAS with plans to commit troops to the country to ensure a return to constitutional rule. During an engagement between officials of the National Commission for Civic Education, NCCE, and the Public Engagement Department of Parliament on ways to educate the public on the need to safeguard the country's democracy, concerns were raised about coups in West Africa. The ordinary man on the street is losing confidence in our political institutions, our democratic institutions. For me, that is the saddest part of it, that we must stand up to address. Because we can marshal all the forces to go and fight whoever is um, engaging coup d'etat or undemocratic changing government. If the people on the ground say that's what we want, what will you achieve? So we need to take our mandate seriously, raise the level of awareness of the ordinary person on the street so high to be able to appreciate why we must protect, why we must ensure that our democracy is never, never overthrown. You see civilians or citizens who are jubilating, supporting military overthrows of, of, of democracies. What does that tell us? It means that citizens are dissatisfied that they are not reaping the dividends of democracy. Because it's very clear in the Afrobarometer service where citizens show distrust in democratic institutions. You look at parliament and the rating is very low. You look at the judiciary, the rating is very low. You look at other democratic institutions, the ratings are very low. So it means that they don't trust that the institutions or democratic institutions will deliver on their mandate. The NCC and the Public Engagement Department of Ghana's Parliament announced plans to liaise in sensitizing the public on the need to protect Ghana's democracy. There is an ongoing meeting amongst ECOWAS chiefs as to what intervention should, should they take regarding what is happening in Niger. And if Ghana is peaceful, I think that it behoves on these two institutions to do everything we can to protect this priceless commodity. With a growing insurgency in West Africa, institutions like the National Commission for Civic Education and the Public Engagement Department of Parliament are collaborating to ensure that citizens are sensitized on the need to safeguard the country's democracy. Reporting from the Office of the National Commission for Civic Education, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News.